a big yawn. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. What's down here? Don't be afraid to take a look down here. Huh, there's nothing down here, which only means trouble. Oh, I think I know this room. Yup, it's the lever room. Uh, strategy for this, they're gonna circle around you when they get close to a spin attack. And that's all there is to it, really. That's all there is to it. Wow, um, considering how far we've made it down in the Cave of Ordeals already, I said we we're making pretty good on time. Oh! Oh, I think, you see that little sparkle up there? Get an empty bottle out. I'm going to drink the superb soup. You'll see why in just a minute. That little sparkly thing up there is rare chew jelly. Wait for it to drop down. Oh, please drop down. Oh, no, no, don't let them swallow it. Oh, scoop it. Did I get it? I think I got it. Yes! You got the rare chew jelly in your bottle. Now this thing, it replenishes all hearts and boosts attack strength for a short time, but it boosts attack strength. You want this because it's just such a cool item. You don't actually need it to be honest, but um, it's always good to know you have it. Um, let's replace our spinner with bombs because I want to. Anyway, a uh, room full of chews other than that. Oh. And, um, don't let the chews swallow the rare chew jelly because it will turn them into, uh, purple chews. Meaning that they will not have the same effect. And that's bad, because you want rare chew jelly. You want the rare chew jelly. Quite frankly. Good lord. Die. Just die. Just die. All of you. I can't really give a good strategy for chews. You basically just keep wailing on them until they all die. Alright, I know there's one more. There you are. You giant bottle of slooge. Slooge. I mean splooge. Die, please. Uh. 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 Alright. Now that that's done, let's move on. Let me touch my laptop real quick. Alright, good. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is going to take three or more videos. I think this is another safe floor. Yep. Let's go ahead and talk to the mermaid. The mermaid. I mean the fairy. I am impressed that you made it this far, hero. I praise of your efforts this far. I will release fairies to Pharaon Spring. From this point on, you will need the power that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice, aka the ball and chain. La la la, if you want to give up the fight, you can go ahead and return to the surface, but we are not pussies, so we are not going to do that. So, in this room, I believe it's very annoying. Yep, yep, it's this room. My phone's going... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't even the room I'm thinking of. Okay, we're still good for now. I have the coolest ringtone, I gotta say. Alright, let's do a jump strike down here. I really shouldn't be texting while doing this, but, um... <laughs> sorry. One of my good friends... Oh, God. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to mention her now. Alright, Megan. This is for you, Megan. Yes, I mentioned you. <laughs> Anyway, just break this block of ice. She's been wanting me to mention her in my videos for like some a long time. And now that I've got her on the mind now, might as well say something. Alright, I think this is the floor with the ghost rats, so be careful. I think so. Yup, yup, this is this most certainly is. Transform into a wolf. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is I can't get them off unless I'm in sense mode. Rawr. Alright. Who else wants some? Anyone else? Get out of here. Anyone else? Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, as you can see, there are cer there's a dark circle in here. Now, there's usually not 
a dark circle for a long while, but usually they contain hearts except for that one floor that has the 200 rupee one. So, yeah! Um, what else is there? Is that it? Is it? No, I hear one. Oh, I hear you. Oh, you jerk, you got me. Okay, whatever. Now let's turn into a human, because we don't need to be wolf anymore for a long while. I think that there's one more floor that has ghost rats on it, but don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh my lord, please get up. What's down here, I wonder? Well, if there's nothing down there, that can only mean bad things, right? Oh, this room. I remember this. Uh, what you want to do, just go around the room, make sure they're all up. I do one lap around the room to make sure they're all out of the ground. And when they're all nice and close. Spin attack! There we go. And it takes care of all of them just like that. Alright, moving on. So, um, how are you guys? Oh, the re-dead room. How could I forget this? Um, for this, I believe you want to jump over here and use the ball and chain. This takes care of the re-deads really fast in human form. Come here. Because it gets them throwing it and it gets them on the way back. It's a really cheap way to get to kill re-deads, but it's effective and it's really cool, actually. Die. Die. Alright. And last but certainly not least, you get the biggest punch of them all. Thank you so much for dying. <sighs> they really lessened the re-dead difficulty, I'm telling you, man. Oh, that is a archer! That is an archer! Alright, you know what? You want to fire all the way from there? I can do the same thing. Jerk. Alright. Uh, let's do a jump strike out down here. Ooh, what's up? What's good? What's good? What's good in the hood? Oh, oh, yeah. Anyone else? No? Okay, I made quick work of them. Alright, so going down to the next floor here. Alright, what we got down here? Ah, Stalfos. Um, let's get our ball and chain out because the Stalfos. Stalfos? Yeah, Stalfos. I don't know why I couldn't remember their name. Let's just, um... Dude! 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 Just throw the ball and chain. There we go. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> Good lord, man. They were kind of kicking my ass for a minute there. Alright, um... First things first, we're gonna kill this guy. Jerk. Wow, I can't believe I didn't kill him. But anywho... Let's go ahead and cut these spider webs down. You can actually do it. There you go. And... Maybe. There we go. Um, now let's do a jump strike down here. hi Yeah! Alright. Alright, this room is also full of bubbles. Alright, so... Yeah! Oh, come on, don't block me. There you go, alright. Open sesame. I already have 1,000 rupees, and that's pretty good, because, uh... I will be needing a lot of rupees for magic armor. Later. Much later. You'll see what I mean, guys. Don't you worry. hi yeah! How did that get... I, I, I want to know how that got the guy in the middle, but whatever. Uh, these are red Boko Blins. Uh, they're a lot tougher than the blue ones. And you can nut stab them. Yay, return of the nut stabs. I love it. Die, all of you. What the balls? Get that helm splitter. Oh, he's dead. Okay. These guys take a lot of abuse, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> but they're no match for the nut stab, I'm telling you. Come on, come on. Die! Alright, and that should take care of both of them, alright. Perfect. This is actually going pretty smoothly. 
I'm really I'm really liking this. I'm kind of digging it. All right, let's go ahead and do a jump strike. There we go. Uh, do a little victory lap around the room. Make sure all of them are out of the ground. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the little guys first. And then let's go ahead and get our ball and chain out. Die and die. Thank you very much. Uh, this bubble needs to die. I'm going to have a little fun with you. I'm going to shield attack and then finish. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. All right, anywho, let's move on. Let me touch my laptop real quick. Make sure you don't go to screensaver. All right. Oh, another safe room. Okay, let's do a jump strike down here anyway because, well, I feel like it. Oh, and I haven't really explained this yet, but um, each I'm I'm sure you've noticed already. But each time you talk to a fairy on the safe room, um, she basically tells you she releases fairies in some of the springs. I'm impressed. I in I will release fairies to the Elden Spring. So um, basically every time you visit any spring, you can get free fairies, which is very good. From this point on, power levels. All right, that's basically the Dominion Rod saying. You need the Dominion Rod, basically. So, moving on. We are going to take care of these Beemos up here because I don't want to take care of them down there. No siree. Die. It's much easier to take care of them up here, let me tell you. Alright, and die. And die. And we only have one more left, so let's go all the way over here and take care of these bats. Oh, goodness. Die. Die. And let's take care of you. Die. Oh, there's another bat. Hi there. Die, please. Thank you. Alright. Now let's uh, get our Dominion Rod out. This is the only time we need it in the Cave of Ordeals. Uh, move this guy off of this switch and move this guy off of this switch and it releases the gate allowing you to go forward uh, let's put our item back up here there we go because we don't need the dominion rod anymore uh, let's get rid of this guy that guy oh whoa that guy eeny meeny miny mo alright jump strike Alright, goody goody. Perfect. Oh my god. I'm a beast. I'm an animal. I'm a motherfucking monster. Alright, wow. We're just getting the moolah, aren't we? We are rolling in dough. I really should be turning into a wolf and checking for dark spots to get health and such, but... Nah. Alright, um... Why do I get the feeling that there's going to be reed edge under this ledge? Anywho, let's just get our b ball and chain out and drop down. Oh, okay, there wasn't. Let's just take care of this reed ed. Uh, go alongside the room to avoid the Poe getting in the way. Take care of this guy. Go alongside. Take care of him. Oh my goodness. Oh, readjust Link. Die. Die. Thank you. And take care of him. Uh, he didn't even notice us. Wow. Oh, and that Poe has noticed us. <laughs> oh, that Redead's in an awkward position. But, anywho. Uh, let's just take care of this Poe now. And get his heart. Nom, 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 nom. Very nice. Alright, turn back into human form here. 